Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from GreenSock, and today I want to talk to you about our Smooth Origin property that's new to CSS plugin. Smooth Origin is really going to help you if you do a lot of transform origin changes on SVG elements. Previously, we've shown you how GSAP allows you to change the transform origin on SVG elements and get the same exact behavior as you would with normal DOM elements like divs across all browsers, including IE. But our new smooth origin property is going to go the extra mile, sort of, and really help you if you're changing the transform origin on elements that have already been transformed. Sounds like a tongue twister. The best way to really describe this is to jump into a little demo, okay? So right now, we're looking at something where the smooth origin property is set to false, okay? And we're going to do a number of transforms on this element and keep an eye at where the registration point is or the transform origin is, this little red circle here, okay? So by default, SVG elements are going to have their registration point in the top left-hand corner. So if I perform a scale, that element is going to scale um, with the left top origin staying put, and that's what we're going to get. Now, once this is transformed and I go to change the origin, uh, something kind of funny happens because my next transformation is going to be a rotation around the right bottom corner, okay? So watch what happens as I scrub forward. Boom, you'll see that when I change the transform origin to right bottom, that this element sort of jumped up, okay? What happens according to the SVG spec is that whenever you change the transform origin, it gets placed in relationship to the non-transformed state, okay? And then the transforms get applied. So what's happening here is that the origin is changing, which is then changing the position of the element, and then it's being scaled after that. So it's all about order of operation. So we're going to finish that rotation from the right bottom, okay? And then the next rotation I'm going to do is going to be from the right top, okay? So that's that corner right here. But again, as soon as the origin changes, notice that we have this little jump here, okay? So it moves the origin where the right top of the element would be before it was transformed, and then it does the rotation and the scaling, okay? So as I scrub through here, you'll see that every time the origin changes, that the element is actually being shifted around, okay? So I'm just going to play this all the way, the way through, and you'll see now that the element just jumps quite a bit as we change the origin. And I want to point out that this is not necessarily a problem with GSAP at all. Um, it's really behaving the way the SVG spec says it should. But we feel that this is going to frustrate animators quite a bit. So we have a new setting called Smooth Origin. And when we set it to True, what happens is we avoid this jump. So I'm just going to click my magic button right here. And on the left, we now have an element that's going to show you what happens when smooth origin is true. Again, we're going to start off, we're going to use the same animation on both elements. The only difference is going to be the smooth origin value. So we're still going to do this first transformation of the scale from the left top corner. But now, with smooth origin true, when I say to rotate around the bottom right corner, watch what happens. There's no jump, okay? The origin moves, and we offset that element seamlessly for you. So here we're just going to do a number of rotations now around this corner, and the element will not jump, and everything goes nice and smoothly. So we'll just watch them all play back in real time, and hopefully you're starting to get an idea of how smooth origin is going to work. Next, I'm going to show you how you would actually code an animation like this and build it from scratch. So you can actually see, as I'm building, how the smooth origin values work. All right, and to do this, I'm going to jump over to Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to show you a very simple SVG that I've built, all right? So I have two elements. I have this thing called blocks, which is just these four squares, and they're all inside of an SVG group, okay? And then I just have a border here, which is just going to be a little reminder for me of the normal untransformed scale and position of that element, all right? So two basic elements. I'm going to do my file, save as. I'm going to overwrite an, an existing file and check out the SVG code. We'll just grab this puppy right here. We're going to go over to a new code pen demo and I'm just going to paste in that HTML for the SVG. And there we go. So there's my SVG in an HTML page ready for me to animate. All right, and I'm going to start off building an animation 
with the default smooth origin set to false, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is a very basic scale. So that code would look like this. We're gonna tell the blocks to take one second and scale to a value of two. Since I have not yet set a transform origin, it's gonna to default to the left top corner. So that all works as expected. So let's just say that's the perfect animation that I'm going after for my logo. And once I've scaled from the left top corner, I then wanna spin this element around its center. Well, here's where it gets interesting. Typically, you would try something like this. You'd specify the rotation of 360, and you'd set your transform origin to center, center, or maybe 50%, 50%. So watch what happens. We're gonna do our first scale, and then when the rotation happens, whoa, that thing jumped up here. Now again, this is all according to spec. It's not a bug anywhere, but what's happening is it's setting the origin to the center based on the non-transformed elements center and then it's applying the transforms, okay? So that's the jump that we talked about. So to turn that behavior off, we can just set that value to true. So if I hit run, this is what I'm going for. Scale up and then spin around center and everything's groovy. In GSAP 1.17 and higher, the default smooth origin is going to be set to true by default. So you're not really gonna have to do this at all. And you can also set the smooth origin value on a per tween basis. So if it wasn't the default, I could say in this tween here, you know, maybe we would just say smooth origin true. All right, so I can do it on the tween or I can do it as a global default. So let's do one more animation, all right? Let's set this back to being false. And the next animation is gonna do something like this. We're gonna start off and we're going to do a rotation of 180, all right? So I just wanna show you that we have some real world use for this feature, okay? So we'll just, just take this logo and we're gonna spin it 180 degrees, okay? So maybe that's exactly what I want to do. And then once it's done spinning, I want to scale it down towards this corner right here, okay? So that blue corner. And what I wanna point out is that that blue corner is the natural right bottom corner, okay? So I just wanna be clear that when smooth origin is true and you go to define the transform origin, it's always based on the corner of where it is in the untransformed state. So this looks right now like the left top corner, but again, we just showed you that normally that's the right bottom corner. So what I'm gonna do is this. This next tween is going to do a scale to 0 0.5 and we're going to say right bottom because that's the proper one we're going to take smooth origin true off of here i'm going to hit run and now watch what happens remember this is the old behavior it maps the right bottom corner to where it used to be and then it applies that transform so i'm guessing that most animators are not going to want that jump so what's the solution we're just going to be happy that we have default smooth origin set to true. And now this is the animation effect that I was going for. All right. Two drastically different visual experiences. And at GreenSock, we're fairly confident that you guys are going to find smooth origin set to true as being the more natural and intuitive results that you guys are looking for. So as of version 1.17, you don't have to worry about any of this. You don't have to set the default smooth origin to true because out of the box, that's the behavior you're going to get. If by any chance you load 1.17 into a legacy project and this new behavior is not what you want, all you gotta do is set the default value over to false and you'll have everything behaving the way it used to. So please take 1.17 for a spin, let us know what you think about this new feature and uh, we're looking forward to your feedback. Happy tweening guys.